Hello everybody, just a quick transport vlog for you today from a renewed lockdown of sorts here in Brussels. Good stuff. Um, let's talk about biofuels for once, um, and aviation in particular. Now, one of the challenges of getting aviation and biofuels to have a happy marriage is basically demand. Um, it's cheaper for aviation companies, airlines, to use kerosene at the moment uh, because biofuels are more expensive when they're used in those kind of quantities. But as we look towards the future, sustainable aviation fuels are going to have to be the way forward because although the likes of Airbus have announced plans to go zero emissions eventually by using things like hydrogen, that is a huge step change in terms of technology. Um, it means in completely new architecture for planes. Electric power is just not going to be there yet because of the weight of batteries. There is no way in hell that we can think of at the moment a long range airliner being run on battery power, for example. So biofuels are probably the way forward in the short and medium term. Um, Boeing has already started doing this quite um, ambitiously with its uh, Eco Dreamliner. Um, recently it wrapped up testing with Etihad, a uh, Middle East airline, um, where it basically ran a 50-50 blend of biofuel and kerosene, its most ambitious and the maximum permissible under law that it's ever done before. Now the one thing you can think about at the moment is biofuels and scale are the problem. Um, it can't be done sustainably at the kind of quantities needed to make a difference. But aviation's biggest problem at the moment is that there aren't exactly a lot of planes in the sky because of coronavirus measures, quarantines, lockdowns. Demand is hugely down um, and it's anybody's guess when it will recover. I mean, take Berlin's new airport at uh, Brandenburg. Uh, seems like a decade over target. Uh, it's opening at the end of this month. Uh, there were problems at first about thinking, well, we've built it too small, so we're going to have to build another terminal to cope with demand. It's not a problem anymore. There aren't going to be millions and millions of passengers extra over capacity that they thought there would. Um, and it's the same maybe with biofuels, in that um, aviation is not going to be growing at the rate that was previously uh, predicted. So maybe this is a golden opportunity for airlines to grab sustainable aviation fuels by the scruff of the neck and say, right, this is where we're going to go after government support and subsidies and invest more in this part of the sector. The French government have already said that they, they will be uh, monitoring this quite closely in the aerospace sector when they gave billions of euros as part of the coronavirus bailout package. Um, so, I mean, International Energy Agency, in terms of biofuels across the board in transport, um, say that the rate of uptake is just nowhere near where it needs to be. Um, by 2030, under a sort of sustainable development scenario, we are way off track. There's no capacity nearing uh, where we want to go. And transport hasn't got it all to itself when it comes to second generation sustainable biofuels. The likes of the chemical industry, plastics, want to use the likes of used cooking oil in their products. Um, so it's not all going to be destined for airliners and ships and lorries. There's going to be a huge demand for this. So they need to get on board now. And like I said, uh, the fact that there is such a low demand at the moment for aviation and air services, why not just go all in and say, biofuels, future, we'll, go to, we'll get to hydrogen eventually. Just make sure you do it sustainably. Okay, don't make the mistake of the first generation crop of biofuels where you had this huge conflict between crop and palm oil and all this stuff. You know the story already if you're watching this. So there we go. That's all the thoughts for this week. That's from the transport vlog. Um, like I said, lockdown again, so no outside filming. I'm on the balcony at the moment. Little peek behind the curtain for you there. Um, and I'll see you next week, hopefully. Stay safe, and thanks for subscribing. Share with your friends. Ciao for now.